Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Xena 10 inch action figure. I've never really been impressed with how this thing looks. Uh, you're going to see why when I unbox it. Uh, I got it because it's supposed to be a deal. It's supposed to be a box of six of these. But I was like, ah, that don't sound quite right. Went ahead and took a chance. It was only one. But that's fine. It's Xena. I collect Xena stuff. But I'm going to pop it open, like I said, because I'm not really impressed with this action figure. The box is fine. Some cool stuff on the back we'll go over. All right, let's pop it open. Here we have Xena. Fan Toy Biz, stuff in the back. You have some monsters. Then you have five inch series. And he also made a 10 inch Hercules, which I heard was actually supposed to be Dolph Lundgren for this, but uh, he turned down the roll. Kevin Sorbo took it, but he didn't change the body. So I'm not sure what happened with this action figure. Like I said, well, I'll take it out, look at the face, and you'll see what I mean. Why I don't really care for it. Very old tape. And if top open there. Yep. That's good, so the box will be pretty easy to keep intact. So here comes the Chakram, the red dress from the Hercules series. A nice sword actually. I'm actually impressed with that sword. This is a Xeno purple background. Alright. Back with some scissors. It's a little bit easier here. Yeah. <laughs> it was really brittle. It just came right off. Alright. So the oh, the chakram is alright. Does that have any um, silver to it though? Like I said, you didn't really pay too much attention to detail. The sword is nice. Doesn't really look like her sword, I don't think. Let's see. Where is the box? I have to look it up. The sword is sturdy, so that's cool. Uh, let's get this out of the way. These ties. It's cool he gave the Hercules dress. I'm not sure what this is about. So this is blue. I can't remember if it was blue or not. Let me look it up. So it looks like this is the armor, the model, the action figure after, because it was on Hercules uh, Legendary Journeys. Uh, has a dragon shoulder patch, which I thought was actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't prefer this armor over Xena's regular armor from Xena Warrior Princess. I think that armor's better. Um, like I said, I'm not impressed with this action figure. And you'll see in the face sculpt really why I don't like it. But if you get a Xena action figure, you kind of want her in the brown or the black. This face is not good. There we go. I mean, the eyes are blue, but she looks like a much older 
person than Xena was, especially at the time. So it doesn't really do Lucy Lawless any justice, so I, I don't like that. Let's have some articulation. I see action figure review people always do that. <laughs> she has one elbow joint and no elbow joint. Okay. She has a fist and hopefully she might hold her sword. Let's see here. Mm. She can't. Okay, that fits snug. If I didn't like know a lot about Xena, I would think this is a cool action figure, but the fact that it doesn't look like Lucy Lawless really kind of kills it for me. I mean, we have the stripes on the armor. We have one of my favorite parts of her old armor. It's like um, dragon, demon looking scales. Stand solid. And this thing is in really good condition. So I can't, I mean, it was in box. There's no like crazy marks or anything like that. Because you can just hang that on there. I'm trying to think if you should give her a, a hip holster for that. Let's see here. Okay, shotgun holds. Kind of. I assume this fits fine. Looks like the exact same size, which is which is cool. I'm not going to change that out. This is probably the whole ordeal. I do like this. That's I like that a lot. I guess you can just there. She's ready to go. If I paid more than I wanted to for this, because I thought it was going to be a box of six of them, and I was like, well, six of them. That's worth it. Maybe I can, I don't know, give them away or do different things with them. <coughs> but maybe customize them. But only one came. I don't like these non-boots. Just notice that. That's not correct. If you found this really cheap and you're a Xena collector, maybe. I wouldn't pay more. Well, I paid more than 10 bucks. I paid like 20 or almost 30, I think. Which I would not do on the regular. I'm not horribly upset because it's a good size. It does have this. And I'm, I may actually swap this out because this, this blue armor bothers me. I don't, I don't know why. Sword back out. And those, you know, those boots, I don't, or non boots, I should say. Don't like that at all. Yeah, this sword is solid, but has no ornamentation like hers had. But you didn't put too much thought or, I don't think, real care into this action figure, which is it's a shame. I mean, you went ahead and made a 10 inch. Made a whole series. Now I kind of want the whole series. Ah, man. Stupid thing. Hopefully someday soon, maybe Mattel or NECA will make a good Xena action figure for us. Um, I can't say that I've really seen one. The Xena series itself is probably the best one, I think. Um, got a couple on the way, so we'll take a look at those soon. But let's hope.